Okay, moving on now. Happy Turkey Day. Today is American Thanksgiving, and so many U.S. expats living in Israel are looking for ways to show their thanks. One chef is offering a special Thanksgiving-themed menu that includes turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, it's really making me hungry, all the classic favorites. It sounds delicious, doesn't it? Let's speak to Naor Weinreb, a local chef who is spreading the holiday cheer with his Tel Aviv holiday deliveries. Hey, Naor, thank hey, you Hey, Lauren, thanks us. for having me. Okay, so tell me about your special Thanksgiving menu. Well, since Corona hit, I had to start to think differently about how I do my thing and cook food for people. So uh, this coming Thanksgiving, I thought that there was a big enough American community in Israel that I could cook Thanksgiving dinner, put it in a box, as you see here, and deliver it to their house. And we can't, add, there is food inside the box, there but we can't food, actually it, open it up, This is actually up, an correct? order that's on the way to a customer's it house. It is on the way to a customer. It's yeah. on the way to you. Don't worry. Okay, so you're originally from the U.S. Yeah. When did you move to Israel? Um, in 2006, so it's been about 14 years. Okay, so obviously Thanksgiving was a big part of your life growing up. Uh, maybe it still is a big part of your life. But why don't you tell me about um, the difference between how you celebrate here and how you celebrate back home with your American friends and your family, of course. Well, with friends and family, I guess it's about the same. We get together, we sit down, we have turkey, and we have all the side dishes and say what we're thankful for. But obviously... Um, I guess you don't feel the holiday in the air here. You don't, it's hard to find the ingredients in the supermarket. Sourcing a whole turkey is very difficult. Um, but it's definitely something that me and my family have kept very close to us, and it's something that we do every single year. Okay, so you, um, before you know, the coronavirus lockdown, were a full-time chef, correct? Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me about how you know, this lockdown affected your entire life by taking away your day job, basically. How did it transform everything you do? Well, for those who know, chefs work around 250 hours uh, a month. So right when Corona hit, I was very excited. I got to relax. I got to sleep in a little bit. It was very fun. But after, after about a month, I mean, I'm like, okay, I, I still want to cook. Who am I going to cook for? How am I going to deliver my food to them? How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to survive? <laughs> you know, we all yeah. have to survive at the end of the day. So I took everything that I love to do at the restaurant, and I started doing it from the facilities of my own home which has been an incredible challenge. How so? Uh, well, first of all, I have no industrial equipment at home. So, you know, we're talking about an oven and we're talking about a stovetop and counter space and things that are very uh, important to get the job done. And the fact that I have to work from the confines of my own home. So, you know, my wife is very much affected by the fact that I turn our kitchen into a war zone every weekend. Uh, just doing what I do, but she's been more than supportive, and uh, we've we've been making it work. Is this the first time that you've created a like made from home delivery menu for Thanksgiving, or is it something that you've been doing since the beginning of the lockdown? So this is the first time I'm doing it for Thanksgiving, but it started about two months ago. Two months ago, I started doing it for um, for for Shabbat dinners. Um, it's something I do once a week, and I have a few clients that want Shabbat dinners delivered to their house. And my concept was just to do it a little bit finer than what people, than home cooked meals. So giving that uh, personal chef feel, feel to their food. Um, and I guess that's how I learned the trade of packing boxes and tying these, this nice string and whatnot. It's very beautiful. Yeah, my wife also helped me out with that. <laughs> so tell me about some of the highlights from the menu. I mean, I was reading it, I have it right mm. here actually, and it really made me hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. So what are the, the items you're most proud of on this menu? Um, well, I, don't, I didn't come up with any of the dishes. They're all very traditional, okay. American. I'm Canadian, by the way, so these are none of my traditions. You guys do have, you guys we have do Canadian have, Thanksgiving. It, but you guys eat the same thing? Or? It's a little different, but okay. I didn't grow up celebrating it, so okay. it's not exactly part of my home culture. I mean, I made very American, um, old school, classic dishes mm -hmm. that, uh, honestly, many Jewish families don't even uh, know how to cook or eat in their own home. Like, uh, green bean casserole, mm -hmm. which any Jew living in the States would be like, that's, that's not Jewish food, that's what like, non-Jews What's eat. the most delicious thing that you <clears throat> want to tell our viewers to go right now and make it as fast as they can because it's so good? Uh, well, I really, I, I really love my squash uh, cooked in brown, brown butter. Brown sugar, brown sugar and butter. Squash. Yeah. Sounds delicious. Yeah, it's sweet, it's seasonal, it warms your stomach, it's very fitting for this time of the year. All right, well, have a great Thanksgiving and thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much.